You're almost as good as me. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack.
one. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. under attack. The sisters of the veil honor your death. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance Courier has been killed. Middle Tower is under attack. The seeds of fortune. Burn away your ignorance. are under attack. Be ensnared in fire. Dyer's middle tower has fallen.
Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is fallen. I have seen the other side. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. That's gonna be fun to watch, but honestly, for the dream that last game they got Radiant's outlaned team. and outplayed this game. Nice easy money. 2k net worth lead for Maneski. Try lane down bottom from FTD is yet again they try and give Faded the best laning stage possible and maybe with a kill here on the Febby, they'll grab a bit of gold Final. for James. That, Finally, exactly. I gave them enough damage to, to finish him off there. And they get the kill on Elder Titan, but they really had to. They're committing a trial lane here. He does. Keep that track going now. He's hit level 6. Bottom lane, maybe they kill him. You're right, they do. Febby Pilar. I that Pilar Dye was rotating down there. PA immediately up to top. James with the with, yeah. power. Empower. Empower. Empower, please. Empower? Empower, sir. Spam ping him. P spam ping him. Faded. Oh, they want to kill Arjit, but they missed the shockwave. Waiting for the blink. Faded wants to go now. They baited it and they played it perfectly. I say perfectly, they should have been... PA with the good rotation. Faded, he saw that there are three heroes on the bottom lane and instantly he forced stop. He didn't wait for a second, so... This dome might be in problems, though. It is on him. He has another crit now. There we go. Four. He has enough mana for sure, can toss. He's got wand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He can use the wand, but he can just crit him. Just crit him, bro. <laughs> he killed him. He got 280 gold. He also crit him three times. He's behind the tower. He's just waiting for the right of the strike. And in this kind of situation, the Grimstroke, half HP, very limited mana, but still oh, sticking good. around in lane. Well, he's not going to stick around for much longer. Money! money. Easy money. <laughs> money! I mean, he has to know that he's in vision here, right? Because map vision has changed. So if you start farming that, the tower actually does scout you. It does you. And is that... When I first played the new map, is this spot... Oh, are they going in? Dragon yeah. Sail? They've uh, caught Pyli die. Quick little undying kill. Man, those crits. Always nice to have. Oh, Chan Chan. Where was that? Up top. Grab the bounties. Sniping your courier. Bunch of suckers. Yeah. Febby has an urn, and they are eyeing up YRG. Not Hard. quite enough damage until the Elder Titan arrives. Amplify it up and bring Pylai Dai into the mix as well. With an urn splitter connecting nicely, the RP onto two will swing things around. FTD looking hot as they kill a bounty hunter, but they can't chase for more up the high ground. They can't chase. Can they go in? No, they think twice about it. Too many heroes here for Maneski. You can see the way FTD itemized. They want to fight. They want to go as soon as possible. This PA went for Vlad. is building that Desolator. And it's going in. Well, they jump by like night. Inkswell is there. And the empowered Phantom Assassin clears up the Undying. But Febby sticks around. He is under his tier 1. Feeling pretty safe even against... Maybe they catch this bounty. But it's, he's just going to run now. Phases, drums, he's fine. 
He even turns. Yeah. They want to try and fight. PA gets coiled up. Silenced, hit with a big crit. The RT from James, fake pumped, doesn't want just one. Wants to catch two, but that's not the life he'll leave. The ink swell onto KP will land, but Chan Chan in the back being zoned out by three from Mineski. The Dragonite arriving late to the party. PA has already fallen, and Grimstroke follows. Immediately after, his pilot eye racks up the strength, the decays are flowing, and FTD, they've got to get going. James stopped with a DK as well. Mineski, they claim every single life that FTD had to offer. A five-man wipe, only losing your puck, and how many track kills did we have there? I just want to see the goal difference now after that. Slight amount, 2.4k. Uh, minus 15, though. If that was old Bounty Hunter? If that was old Bounty Hunter, it would have been more, definitely. But That's it still feels pretty good. Oh, the dust onto Bounty with the Phantom's Embrace. Pops his wand, his drums, everything he's got. The tracks to keep him out of danger. Dodges the stroke of fate. And he's a speedy little bastard, but the crit from Vader finally oh, takes him out. Quite. The other Titan? They <laughs> see him, but... The blink reveal from the DK. Faded will make short work of Febby. Any other space on this map, so... Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the full Protect 1 and this. We, we see it from time to time. We'll, we'll come back to this in a second, because a proper team fight breaking out as a soul find onto Moon. Double Doom, RP double RP. And double RP. Uh, double Doom, sorry. Killing off the bounty and the Undying. Febby looks like he's going to get hounded into the river. The Phantom Assassin should be able to jump in and quickly clear up the Elder Titan for a double kill. I mean, somewhere where anti-mage doesn't dare to, right? Yeah. Somewhere where, where it's more dangerous, that even if he dies, it doesn't matter. That's kind of Puck's job, but... I, I, I guess Puck can scale reasonably well if they do catch Pile I Die mid. Yeah, he has his travels playing 200, 2,000 plus. Arjit? Oh, the crit. Dear Lord, that AM... I thought the dagger was chasing him, but it moves up to Febby. Now the Titan, the double kill target, and the AM blinking south. Have a BKB on PA. You can't wait for that anti mage just ages to run out, but you don't have to. Okay. KP has jumped in after Pilot Eye's death. Fly back from the Undying as they jump in with RG at the AM. Counter spell up, Mana Void out, and YRG is a goner. Faded, bailing with a BKB, Phantom Strikes back to the Magnus as QIQX left all alone. Feels the pain, but I think Maneski still want to move forward. They've got more to gain here. Faded jumped upon, and Arjit desperately scrambling for this kill with the help of Febby and Moon, potentially with tracks. They can follow up on it and get two. RP from James, PA turns around, Faded getting it done, but no, she falls, the PA's gone, the Aegis from the AM will be reclaimed, James scurrying down to the low ground into the river, but Archer has his number. At the same time, Doom, doomed Puck on the mid lane, but Puck survives on 100 HP and that Doom's wasted. Honestly, it feels like FTD, they have what it takes to win this game, but they just get outplayed a little bit here. First, the way how they lost the ages, right? It, it's very cheap. They yeah. uh, snuck into the pit and they stole it away. Uh, also, the call itself to go for that Roshan without finishing it. And now this. The Puck just isn't afraid of anything. Half HP and KP is still just blinking, jumping, jolting, orbing. Getting the Dream Corner and the kill on YRG. A quick double as Arjet moves. And yeah, he's gonna get that Basher most likely now next. And could go for the MKB too. I'm not certain. We'll see. Pilot Dive, meanwhile, gets obliterated. Out here with OBS and sentries. PA wants Pilot Die in the mid lane. Empowered up. Blurs forward. That is only six hits to the middle of the Undying. But the rest of the lanes, you look at how they're advancing. AM and ET have shoved bottom all the way towards oh, the end three. They got Moon. Pushing too. But I think if you're Radiant, you're happy with this. You, you push much, much faster. Or do you? Well, there's the glyph and the tier 3 falls. TPs are coming down to bottom as Doom. Invis sees Arjit. Oh, 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 which one is it? There we go. That's the real one. You've caught the AM. Is there a fight back at the dire base? Not really. I'll try and TP down to bottom. Arjit, Doom, another five or six seconds. He's tanking through this reasonably nicely. The RP's expended, but I think the AM might just escape here. He's an inch away from death. Matter, but no. So close, yet so far. Yeah, they just forced them back, and now they run. That's all. 
Puck might chase, though. Puck might actually go for a coral here. Hello, PA. Hello, the Puck. Immediate crits on the KP, the silence and the dagger there as well as the gem is dropped and Moon left to reclaim it. QY into the Glimmer Cape, trying to escape. KP buying back on the left hand side, the proper fight kicking off around the shrine, it's faded a load. One versus two here, YRG focusing on the tombstone, but the PA has fallen and YRG. No TP, no BKB. This AM is going to quite easily find the kill. He pops his soul ring, tries to stun or breathe fire, anything he can. But well, the AM's mana burn is too strong for him. Bottom, what's going on? It's continuing even further, deeper into the Radiant side of the map. Moon and Febby chasing Chan Chan, and Doom loses all of his money, loses all of his life RP. as the RP whiffs completely. What? It's better. They take control of the map a bit better. They they outpush these lanes. They they always fight on the enemy's side. Is this a big catch? They've doomed Moon, and YRG jumps in. The Earth Split is connecting though, and Chan Chan drops low. James with no RP can't really accomplish anything here, so Arjit's arrival slays the Doom, and now towards the PA we go. The BKB from Faded is forced, the stomp in the back, onto the DK will take down YRG, and that tombstone still standing means that Maneski have the team fight absolutely controlled. Oh, oh, oh maybe not. Got you know, one PA crit nearly killed off all four of them, but it will be Arjit with a triple kill. More consistent. It's a very specific spot of the map, you can't animation cancel. Yeah. Someone was using his PC, changed his controls. No, someone plugged in a wireless USB mouse into his PC, and they can control the wireless mouse while he's playing. Oh, yeah. If you want to prank your office mates, that's an easy one for you. Freebie. Yeah, that's it. So what you're saying is Bounty Hunter is a colonialist who has ruined DK who is a country, and left him crippled for centuries. So Bounty Hunter is the United Kingdom Empire, uh, British Empire, basically. Stealing everyone's gold, making sure their laning stage is awful. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Hello. What's that? DK. What did what, what he stun? These creeps of lads. Now you cast Lincolns on him. Oh, cheese. What? All right. He, mi he missed that. <laughs> Misclick. It happens. Misclicked his bottle into yeah. his backpack and ate the cheese at the same time. He was probably trying to give it to the AM, right? Oh, yeah, I think so, I think so too. That's all. Bit of a dagger bounce back onto the PA. The blur no longer available, and the DK, there's the self stun from the counter spell, and he's dead for 100 seconds with no buyback available. Two minutes until he can come back in, so the Doom has just walked straight into the middle of the fight. BKB's up, immediately slain, or maybe not. Arjit, soulbound, can't jump, can't catch the Doom, so he walks it off. But Faded, with the help of the RP, may be able to cleave through if he gets a crit or two. There's Arjit fallen, and Moon, a missile blade stunned, and down you go, maybe not. The PA is returned on, and that Earth Splitter, huge from Febby, as the buybacks flow from FTD, really not much left to give. Kill to Moon. We'll defend their barracks for now. I think Mineski still have the numbers advantage though, so taking these buildings and maybe even just continuing the fight. Back on here. He's coming back in. Does he have travels? Yeah, he wants to end this right now. Absolutely does. And now they definitely have the numbers advantage, and they most certainly have the damage to finish off the buildings. I'm sorry, did he just die as he lost the Aegis, or did he die twice? Was Aegis reclaimed in that fight? What happened there? Or am I just going crazy? Oh, whatever happened, happened. They have both back, rejoined the fight. GG. It's cold. I'd say Aegis was reclaimed. Yeah, I, I don't think I didn't see him die twice. Yeah, just as they jumped on him, I think. Yeah, it was reclaimed. It, it, was, like, it was like a minute ago that it got reclaimed, so that would have been. Yeah, just as the PA jumped. So. Yeah. So good timing for FTD. So that, that's what they were waiting for, was that Aegis expired.